Hey everyone, this is a special mail. Because there's no AliExpress here and there's no eBay here. Two of the items I purchased. So I wanted to get these opened and have a look at what's inside. Because these have been sitting on my desk for way too long and I feel really bad. I just uh, had too much other things in the way and it's all excuses but I needed to get on top of these. So let's get going, shall we? I'm going to start with this one here. This is from Dave Ploger. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Mr. Dave Darko, just Dave. You might have seen him on my chat, on my channel. He's another YouTuber and he also makes stuff and sells it on Tindy. And so I bought some of his badges that he sells on Tindy because I want to hopefully do them with my kids or for, for my kids or with my kids. Probably for my kids. Whoa, what else is in here? Okay, cool. Oh, okay, nice packaging, Dave. Just Dave. So, let's have a look at what's here. Okay, the two badges I ordered was a Knight Rider badge. So there's a little Knight Rider car and little LEDs go on there and I'm sure there's stuff at the back. Yep, there's a whole lot of space for components on the back. Dave Darko. That was a Hackaday project. And... This is his sloth badge. I like how he's attached the pieces with the color codes. Very clever, Dave. Wonder how long that took you to do. So, packaging kits is an actual real challenge, uh, as many of you might have heard me mention in the past. <laughs> Obviously, the, the fewer items there are, the easier it is to put together, but like specifying on little LEDs that you can't actually read any details on or can't even see what colour they are just by looking at them is a real challenge and that's uh, pretty cool. So we've got white, blue, green, is that red, orange and yellow and then it shows where they go on the thing. It takes a lot of time to refine the kits to make them look like this and then I think Dave has also sent me some PCBs and these are Osh Park, Osh, Osh, I'm not sure. PCBs. I've never seen one in real life and now I have. Wow, their purple is really nice. The purple and gold is great. This is a banana ruler. <laughs> There's a keychain. That's really cool. And then these are... I don't know what they are. <gasps> I know what these are. These are those little octopus, octopi, something, LED things that I saw on Twitter, I think. Thanks very much, Dave. I'm really sorry I took so long to open this package. So Dave sells stuff on Tindy. I'm putting a link to his Tindy store in my description down below. Please go visit his store and buy some of his stuff. He's also a YouTuber, so his Tindy store and YouTube links will be down below. Awesome. I'm really looking forward to putting these together. Okay, next. So, I thought this was a kit swap, but this actually isn't. I didn't even look. There's a picture of the Queen. Ah, uh, this is not what I thought it was. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. This is actually a package from Mr. David Watts. But you couldn't tell from here. I didn't even know till I opened it. So, let's have a look at what's inside. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Okay. And there's a note, and I'm not sure if this note's for public or private. Okay, so the note says, Hey Sion, I hope this letter finds you and the family well. Thank you for starting the badge exhibition. I have really enjoyed not only designing mine, but also seeing what other members of the community have put together. With that in mind, I am sending you one of my designs in kit form. You may also notice a cracked cricket hiding in there as well as a settlement display board. All the best, David Watts. Wow. Cool. So, inside here, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Let's have a look. Oh, hang on. I have to be careful. I think that's all. Okay. I need to keep the kit stuff together. So, this is David's segment display board. 
segment display. I'm not sure if you can read that. That's cool. <laughs> There's his solar mask at the back that doesn't do anything. Excellent. I should grab one of mine in a moment and compare it. And then we've got his cricket badge. You all know David Watts, right, in his YouTube channel. You should all go check it out. Links in the uh, description below. So he put together these cricket badges and they just, they chirp <laughs> just every 15 minutes or so. They put out this like s strangled chirpy sound. <laughs> so it's not like a, a pre-recorded chirp, you know, like a waveform that he's playing back. It's just a, um, a mangled sound he put together just with a, a buzzer that sounds cricket-like and it's, it's pretty funny. And then in here is, okay, so I think he's given me the parts for both because there's two battery holders. This is David's crap badge. This is the crap badge. That looks awesome. I'm so annoyed that I didn't do a solder mask design on mine. That looks fantastic, David. And I love how you can see the traces. Like, you can just move it around like this. You can see the, uh, from the bevels of the solder mask and on the traces. God, that looks fantastic. Yes. So, I'm gonna build myself a crap badge. I've actually sent David, one of my badges. I'm not sure if he's got it yet. I think he might have. And ooh, look at all these ICs here. Transistors. Wow. <laughs> yeah, writing on them all is a writing on the, the back of these. See this? See, this is the problem with doing them. So that says, I think that says 100 nanofarad. That must be a 0.1 microfarad. A little buzzer. Wow. Whole bunch of LEDs. 0805, this is going to be cool. I'm looking forward to putting this together. I think I'll put this together on a soldering Saturday video. And the Cricut I actually want to put together with Orly. Because it's all through hole. I think it'll be a lot of fun to do this with Orly. She's uh, really showing a keen interest in electronics at the moment. Well, coding anyway. She gets quite excited about the hardware I'm putting together, but doesn't obviously understand it yet. So this might be a great project to do with her. And of course, let's just quickly, I'm just going to uh, pull back out again for a second. There we go. It's not a competition. If it was a competition, David would win, right? Who's is bigger? I was just curious to see, because I mean, if you look up top here, the actual display area is pretty much the same. I think David wins out a little bit in size. But um, his is much taller. He's got all these components down below. He's got no components up top, which is great because he's done the version where you lay them flat inside. Well, there we go. Okay, let's get this out of the way. I'm actually going to quickly pack it back up again because I do not want to lose any of these parts. There's a lot of loose things in here. David, thank you so much. I really look forward to putting all this stuff together. I need to start doing my soldering Saturdays again. I get to the end of the week and then I look at all the things I need to do on the weekend that are uh, things that I avoided during the week and I just never get to them. Okay, lucky last is this package. This is from Chris from Greece. He sent me this, well I bought this ages ago and he sent it straight away and it got here really quickly and it's just really been sitting on <laughs> my bench. And um, Chris and I chat a lot, He's a, we've become really good friends. We chat almost daily and he keeps asking me, have you opened the package yet? Have you opened the package yet? And I keep saying, no, I haven't. And I feel really bad and I keep making excuses to him every time. Let's um, look what's inside because I know I ordered two things off him from his Tindy store. There's way more than two things in here. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's way more than two things in here. Let's just pull out and have a look. Okay, so let's full of, look, look for the things that I know I ordered. Well, what is in there? Transistors. There's a whole bunch of transistors in there or something. Okay. <laughs> wow. Interesting labels. So I'll tell you what I, I know I ordered. Okay, what I ordered from him was his SCLD, which is a um, solar charger LED driver. I'm not sure which one that is. 
And then I also ordered a, a three-in-one regulator charge boost thing. It's a, a CN315 something, I think. I'm trying to work out which one's which. But I know he was also sending me some other things he's working on for me to have a look at. Okay, let's just pull some of this out. Maybe some clearer labels. I know he... Okay, so... So just to be clear, he's just reusing bags that he gets from LCSC. He sources a lot of his parts from there, as I've started doing now as well, because I get my parts sent to me for free, well, free delivery, as part of my PCB order. So he's just reusing the labels, which means that it makes it hard to know what's inside. Because like this one, for instance, which looks really cool, Bergduino is, I think, his Twitter name. Looks very cool, but I don't know what it is. I mean, it's a shield. This could be his part of his new UPS that he's making. So it's a charge UPS board. He's doing one for the uh, Arduino, for an Uno, and technically it should work with a Nano and some other boards as well. And he's doing one for a Raspberry Pi. Interesting. Okay, and I believe these are accessories for that. We've got a, an LCD shield, and we've got some headers. Cool. Okay, I'll put that one aside. Let's look at this one. I think this... Is this the charge? Is this the uh, solar? I don't know. Okay. Wow, look at that. That is packed in. That is packed in really tight. But again, no label of what the product is on the board. Okay, there's a web address on there. Well, let's have a look at what else there is. I don't know what these... Are these... What I think, are these could be at Mega chips? No. What are these? I'm going to pull that apart in a second and have a look inside. I just want to look at this one. So, one of these is the Charge Boost. Ah, it's got an LDR with it. And one of them is the Solar Charge. I would say that this is the Solar Charge LED driver, maybe? VCC ground battery battery. So this would be the Charge. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some research. Look on Tindy and try to identify what these are. Once again, tightly packed in board, all hand soldered, hand assembled. Wow, some pretty small parts on there. Some O603s. That's cool. Okay. And then I want to identify what these little chips are. So let's have a look at this. Be careful not to lose any of them. Sorry if this is a long video, as I said, it's a special video. Let all this go for way too long. Okay, time to get the magnifying glass out. Let's see if we can see this. Let me zoom in. XL2011E1. Okay, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> no idea. I'll have to ping him and ask him. Wow, okay, so lots of stuff in this mail today, folks. And as I said, it's a special mail. These are packages that have been sitting there for way too long. I feel really bad. Let's see if we can squeeze some of these things in. Get them all in. Get them all in. Where's Dave? Where's the... Here we go. Don't forget Dave. Don't forget the cricket. Okay, I'm going to have a link to everyone's Tindy stores and channels and everything else in the description below. As I mentioned, this is an unusual mail video. This is cool. I have lots of stuff to put together. I don't know when I'm going to do it. Uh, if you thought it took me a long time to get to these packages, well, it's going to take me a lot longer to get to any of these builds, but I'm looking forward to doing them. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will catch you next time.